Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're back playing Roll of Hex. And, I mean, might as well just, you know, you know the, yeah. You know, know the, you know the drill. We gotta, we gotta wait for the music before we can do anything, okay? Um, colonize 160 tiles. Now, I wouldn't call myself a colonizer, <laughs> um, but if the game is telling me to, then uh, I have no choice. Huh? Uh, are we just back in the ocean, or are we actually on land? Okay. Okay, it allows you to merge two towers in a hex uh, hexagonal formation into a big one. New circle. The new structure has the effects combined of the two most repeating towers within the mer. Uh, merged ones. You can only have merges up to the current level of this upgrade. Zero. We have one merges remaining. Oh. I'm just, I'm just gonna say now. I hope you guys know what I'm, what I'm gonna be doing in this. Wait, hex hexagonal. Um. So what does that do? Okay, that ad the attack speed is uh. Yeah, the attack speed is. Okay, this is probably a bad idea. Now that I'm looking at it, because wow, this is. This might be worse than both towers combined. Um. Wow. Like, am I. Am I crazy in thinking that this tower is really bad? Maybe it's just me, but I don't if Yeah, that is bad bad. Like really bad. Wow. Okay. Like, I, I actually do feel like... Just... Wow. Okay. Because its damage was worse than a behemoth. Its attack speed was worse than a machine gun. What was the point of that? <laughs> I don't understand. That, yeah, that merge tower was... Was really bad. Can we, can we take out this... Okay, whatever. I was hoping you could actually, like, we could actually take this... See, that's what I was trying to take out. And now I can't even... 
What's this? Sniper upgrade into snipers? Sure. Okay. Okay, Verde, I know you're the developer of this game. Um, I have a few suggestions. Make it so that, uh, obstructions cannot spawn on the, the tower, like, on, on top of tiles. Why are you not attacking this? This is right in front of- wait. Oh, he's, it's just barely outside it. or er, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry for getting upset at you. Sorry, Mr. Behemoth. I didn't mean to upset you like that. I didn't mean to insult you. Also, can you make the the merge tower a little bit stronger for like when you merge behemoths and machine gunners? Cause yeah, that machine gunner had or, or that that merge tower had such a slow fire rate. Like the fire rate was slightly faster than the behemoth. Slightly. And it required a bunch of behemoths and a bunch of machine gunners. And it was it was not that, it was not really that good. And its damage was so low as well. Like, I don't know, maybe I should have put it with cannon instead. Uh, it has perfect precision and incident, but no area of effect. You still hit multiple enemies if they intersect. I don't know, the sniper doesn't seem that good for this. Let's go for more projectile speed, that's gonna be good. Maybe it was just like because it wasn't very strong maybe i should have waited longer before i merged them maybe that was a mistake on my part i'd like i merged them too early i just thought it was going to be stronger than it was so i guess that's my mistake i i mean it's probably it probably is strong uh, there's no doubt about it that it probably is strong if you merge them together but just in that instance it it was very weak because it, yeah its attack speed is barely higher than a behemoth and yet it has like half as much damage because the behemoth deal like 240 i think or something like that i think that their base their base damage is like 240. it had some of the cool attributes though like you know, it, 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 the faster, the more it shoots at, the more it shoots, the faster its fire rate. If it's like shooting at the same target, then its fire rate goes up. That, that was cool. I mean, it had that, but other than that, it was pretty much nonsense. I mean, that, that, that was cool, though. That, as my first time seeing that, that was very interesting. Are these guys coming out of the water now? What's happening? Um, deal five times more damage than enemies with full HP. Oh! Yeah! Five times more damage? Are you in- are you- That is- Actually, it was... Anything other be other than a behemoth isn't really gonna do well. Now that I'm kinda thinking about it. And actually, I think the machine gunner is actually just gonna be more of a- 
cause more problems than anything. We'll put that there so it actually gets like some defense. Uh, we'll go for more auto build. We'll put that there. So yeah, I mean, things do obviously have to have the, have to have full HP for it to actually, like, do anything, but I still actually think that it's going to be pretty strong. And yeah, auto build in this is going to definitely be crucial. Because we can definitely defend on this side, and then we'll kind of have, like, I guess this side expand out more. That's kind of, that's kind of my, the idea that I have right now. Just have auto build kind of expand out this part, and while we defend this, this part. You know, the only problem right now is kind of just swarm. Swarm is causing some issues. Because, yeah, they all, like, target the same one. Which isn't, like, that big of a deal, but it can be a little annoying when they're just all targeting the same unit. I mean, it makes sense, but... I don't know. It's a little... It's a little it, I'm not saying, like, oh, that should be changed. I'm just saying, with my setup right now... If they're all targeting the same one, it's a little, little, uh, a little annoying. Also, is it just me, or does the price, is the price really not going up by much? That might be one of the upgrades I have, though, is just to really reduce the price of the... ...of towers. Because, yeah, right now everything seems super cheap. And then, yeah, this can kind of go out like this. I might want to block it at some point though. Why is it not expanding? It should be expanding. It should be expanding here as well. There we go. No idea why I like the symbols, if the symbols actually mean anything. I'm not sure. Oh, here come the sharks though. Sharks are going to immediately go for this thing, which is not good. Um. I also feel like I'm not really making much money. Maybe that's just me, but I, I don't feel like I'm getting much money from these guys. Like, everything feels cheaper, but it also feels like I'm not making much money. Maybe that's one of the things that they had. I'm not sure. I have no idea. Okay, now it's really starting to expand out in the water. I have some major concerns with this, because this is just going to decimate my entire ecosystem. Yeah, this is definitely not a good thing that's occurring right now, okay. We're really going to need to, like, defend, because things are going to go downhill very quickly. I already know. Oh! There's, it's a river right here. 
Oh, that's interesting. So it's expanding out into a... Oh, that's even worse. Because there's also land enemies this direction. It's not just sharks, there's also land enemies. That are going to be coming this direction. That is so much worse than what I thought it was. with resources I guess oh my gosh yeah these sharks are gonna be a problem oh my gosh okay why are there there's so many sharks on land there day <laughs> there day <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to have sharks going on land. I'm just requesting for that to be changed. Can we not have land sharks, please? I... what? I tried to put a building there and it... Okay, that was weird. We'll go with automatic barrier. That's gonna help out a lot. That uh, it actually is. I'm not just I'm not being sarcastic, I genuinely do mean that. Okay. Um We're gonna go with a uh, more auto build. See, this these areas are doing fine, but then once you get into the water, it's kind of like, yeah, things are not going too hot right now. We just need 48 more tiles. 48 more tiles. Come on, we can do it. We got this. 48 more tiles. And now it can kind of grow out into like this part here. Take it over a little bit. Oh, it's really going for this section here, which is oh, another not good thing. Yeah, now this whole area is just going to get wiped out. Until something gets... It's trying to rebuild. I'll give it that. It's trying. How was that staying? I don't understand. No. Rebuild this part. Right there. That's all you needed. That's all you need to do. It's literally all you needed to do. We're gonna go upgrades for a minute. The jack of all trades thing. Go for more resources. See, the thing is, if like if things can get kills, then it's a very strong strategy. Like it's it's absolutely overpowered because you could just you can just like because like things obviously are going to be doing five times more damage to enemies that have full HP. So if you have so if you have something that's like that has like six thousand damage or whatever then it technically it's actually dealing oh my gosh this is not good um then it's actually dealing like um thirty thousand damage 
to uh, to an enemy, obviously, if it has full HP, but... Okay. We're gonna go with shield regen. Yeah, I need... I need that, I think. Okay. Upgrade options. We're gonna go for damage and knockback, I think. Damage and knockback might actually help out a little bit more. Why does it feel like it's per it's spawning more enemies? I don't know. I think I'm I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, I'm def I'm going crazy from this. This is actually okay. This whole area is basically gonna be destroyed soon. We we'll go for more damage for isolated cannons though. Decreased building cost. Now where is their destruction? Bro, go, I don't care. Go for more damage on kill. Go for more auto build. Go for more resources. Go for some more shield regen. Go for more projectile speed. Okay. You know what? We're gonna reroll. We're we're playing risky. We're gonna play a little risky. Gonna go for more slow on hit. Gonna go for a supply drop. Oh, all I have to, oh, okay. I just have to colonize 30 more tiles, okay. Go for more resources. Jeez, yeah, I'm really having to like think about like, oh yeah, where do I want to put things? Okay, over here maybe? Honestly, I don't think the Pandora's box is really going to be that good until until my guys have already had their first shots. Like, first shots on an enemy. We'll go for more projectile speed. Wow. Well. We are so close, come on. What is this guy doing? <laughs> Sir, are you okay? <laughs> I guess I could start kind of removing some of like the inside guys. You know what, let's do that and just start Kind of removing some of the inner defenses.
Pink should be okay, I think. Like, as long as it kind of keeps going the way that I'm hoping it'll go, then, like, it should be fine. They just need to have a fast enough attack speed to keep knocking back the enemies, and then also I need to have enough of them so that, you know, enough of them are not continuously knocking them back, and I need to make sure that I have enough damage to actually, you know, kill them and slow them down. I need enough attack speed, enough turrets, enough of a lot of things, actually. You know, let's, let's start scanning a little bit. We'll start destroying as well. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just keep this. Okay, what is this thing? And missile launchers. Deal more damage, have an increase area effect, and homing projectiles. Yeah, get rid of snipers and let's put in missile launcher upgrades. That seems insane. Okay, I think in the next video we'll try out the missile launchers, but for now. Uh, I think this is going to be it for today's video of Roll of Hex. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Me and the world to me doesn't cost you guys anything. And, uh, yeah, we're going to, you know, wait for the... There it is. But, yep. Yeah, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I already said that. And, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.